Hey guys, it's been a while. I just wanted to do a quick video talking about the future of VFX because it feels like there has been just so many things coming out, so many updates to different softwares and new technology coming out. Um, as an artist, sometimes it feels super hard to keep up with it all. But um, I wanted to talk about some of the cool things that we're starting to see come out in the industry. So this dropped today and um, a lot of other artists have shown this, but I got to show it too. It's pretty sweet. This is a uh, meta human. So this is created by the guys at unreal and just incredible. Like you're going to be able, if any of you have used, used character creator, it's basically like that, but already in unreal or some, well, maybe it's its own application and you can just do this fully rigged, just connect it to a Rococo suit or whatever. It looks so good. And instantly people are like, holy crap, this is amazing. This is going to be used for so many things. And yeah, it totally will. Like I can just see um, using this really, I mean, for storyboarding um, or doing animatics or even full CG um feature films just from your own office just put on a mocap suit connected to some characters act out every character build your environments and boom so it's super cool to see this kind of technology coming out just watching this i just completely blown away at how good it looks like insane insane so it's really fun to see what's coming so um you can check more about this at uh, Unreal's website, uh, meet the uh, meet the metahumans. So I registered uh, for the updates. You guys should too. Um, and then, yeah, they have more information about it. But you can also download a file and go play with it now, which is pretty rad. It's just incredible. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a huge game changer. Um, I'm trying to think for just like even digi double. So in the more VFX department, like I'm wondering if you could even use this for digital doubles, uh, creating a really quick digi double. Like if you, if they're really far away, you know, they're not being seen up close, but, or they're doing a stunt you can't do. Hey, create a digital double match how their face looks. Looks like there's a lot of great tools. I wonder if they're going to have some photo projection, uh, tools kind of like character creator has where it'll match it. You'll take a photo and it'll match your face to it, manipulate it. And then, um, do like some stunt stuff with it, do some animation with it in real time and uh, use it for digital doubles. So there's things like that. There's obviously, uh, we, I just said before, just like, you know, there's game game creation stuff. There's, there's so many applications for this. I'm even thinking about crowd. So, which brings me to like virtual production. That's another thing, you know, I haven't really talked about, but I've been learning some virtual production stuff as well. And um, it's crazy because you start merging all these different cool new tools together and it's kind of fun. You could have crowds in here, you know, like, so you're not just doing CG environments, but then you can take these really nice looking characters, put them in your CG environment, walking around. And, uh, you know, as long as they're far enough away and they're kind of out of focus, it totally works. It sells it. And that's the point, you know, and it's so just super cool. Like all this stuff and the fact that, artists uh, young and old can have access to this just like that like it's just it's awesome i just get i get super excited about all this stuff so yeah virtual production i've actually been learning some unreal stuff um because i feel like um a lot of the stuff i love doing like environment stuff is going to be using a lot of unreal and i want to know how to use that uh technology for on set stuff too and maybe in the future i'll do some videos on that once i can really really nail it um, and yeah, so it's just super fun to see virtual production where that's going. And I, um, go check out, check out Wimbush. He has so many awesome tutorials on a lot of this stuff, especially for a lot of UC40 users going over to Unreal. He's got some, some gold nuggets for sure. Um, then the last cool thing that I've been using lately and I saw Action VFX kind of do a video on this. I've seen Corridor Digital, but as soon as Corridor Digital did a video on this, I was like, I'm gonna go try this. So if you go to runwayml.com, they have this AI, to, uh, you log in 
to this uh, website. You can upload your footage, and then they have an AI algorithm that will rotoscope for you, which I was so skeptical. And it is basically the uh, After Effects roto brush on steroids, in my opinion. I think it does a way faster, and I get better. I had really good results. Now, even though it does a really good job, um, there's a couple things I wish that you could do is export out 4K because you can only do 1080p. And what I'll do is I'll take the mat, like you see there, and I bring it into Nuke, and then I will do like an edge extend, and then I'll try to do some edge cleanup. So get back some of that detail on the edges because it's really good for a core mat. But um, yeah, it needs some love. But that's okay. It gets like within couple minutes I was able to rotoscope shots of someone running and you know moving around and their hair is blown and I was like okay it did a really good job so that's another tool that I am currently really excited about and having a lot of fun with um, learning and playing with anyway it's really fun to see the future of uh, production and where things are going and um, yeah so just want to see what you guys think what do you what do you think about uh, the future of VFX, like where are things going? Um, what do you think of, you know, this is another thing I wanted to talk about is the technology with f cameras now, is being able to have a, a phone that can 3D scan like a new iPhone and 3D track, it's just so exciting. It's such an exciting time to do visual effects and have all of these tools accessible to you. I think as soon as cameras, nicer high-end cameras, start adding in a lot of the technology we have in our phones into the cameras, like getting depth, getting tracking information, um, I think that would completely change everything. Because even think about, so right now for like virtual production, you have to have someone, you know, you have to set up a whole tracker with your camera and then link it and put it on there. But, what if the future is the tracker and all that information is in your camera and it's a file and it's sending it directly to Unreal so you don't need to put tracker on there and it can know what lenses you have and at what depth you're at. That would be awesome. Anyway, it's super fun to imagine the future and I guarantee we're almost there. Like because we're adopting all like virtual production and all these other tools so quickly, um, I bet you that a lot of these big comp uh, these camera companies like Red and Ari and Blackmagic are going to be like, hey, what if we put that technology in? We'll be ahead of the curve. If whoever does that uh, wins the race, and that would be amazing, amazing to see. Anyway, you guys let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm curious uh, what, what technology are you guys excited about for visual effects and things to come in the future. Let me know. All right, guys. See you later.